Hello, everyone. I think uh, we should start with case discussion. Uh, one case I'm going to discuss in the beginning and one in the end of the session. So there is a female 40 year old brought to emergency department from the police from roadside accident who presented to emergency with difficulty in breathing, left sided upper abdomen pain and left thigh pain from last two hours. So as history provided by the police, the, uh, the patient was passenger on front seat and was wearing the seat belt. As we move further, the vitals were yeah, the vitals were respiratory rate was around 40 breaths per minute. Saturation was around 80% on room air. The blood pressure was around 88 by 60 millimeter of mercury and heart rate with a 150 beats per minute. The GCS of the patient is around E3, V4, M5, which she presented at that point of time. On that ground, as every emergency starts with, when the patient arrives, there is A, B, C, D, E. Everything starts with A, B, C, D, E in trauma as well. Okay, so as we will go further, there is examination along with trauma uh, treatment protocol, which we're going to explain later on how we have initiated and how we proceed further. So as for the airway, the airway of the patient was patent as she was able to talk in full sentences and with clear words. Then we further move on on breathing as we say that the airway is patent. Here, breathing was decapening, as I have told earlier, the breath rate was around, respiratory rate was around 40 per minute. So patient was decapening and the saturation was around 80% on room air. So we have started with no uh, high oxygen amount. So started on NRVM, non-rebreathing uh, mask. There is, on examination, we notice there's left-sided IGB was raised and air entry on the left side was reduced as compared to the right side. Uh, on percussion, there was hyperresonance. On these grounds, it was suspected that the patient might have uh, left-sided pneumothorax. So the needle decompression was done followed by an ICD. Uh, then once the breathing part controlled, we can move on to circulation. Uh, as the blood pressure was on a lower side, 80 by 60, we have started with the IV uh, fluid that is preferably is isotating uh, saline. Uh, one liter of fluid was given to the patient, which was bolus, and the blood pressure rises till 100 by 70 millimeter of mercury. And the pulse rate has been settled down to 120 per minute. The blood has uh, been started after the fluid bolus given. The patient was having, uh, according to the disability, the GCS was around 12 by 15, and the pupils were bilaterally reactive and equal. Uh, on exposure, there was a difficulty, uh, deformity, swelling, and there is a laceration of uh, wound over the thigh, which was around seven into five centimeter. Over there, direct pressure was applied for approximately 10 minutes. And as there is a, a femur fracture was suspected, so we uh, the immobilization is done by Thomas splint. Sorry, uh, the further treatment has been started with IV pain medications, the tetanus vaccine as per the patient status, immunoglobulin, tetanus immunoglobulin, and IVI antibiotics has been given to the patient. So uh, this was the X-ray which was done after the ICD insertion. So here we can see that there is an ICD insertion uh, on the left side. Along with that, there are multiple fractures on the rib. There are extended from second, third, fourth. Here we can see on the down as well as we go below. So there was continuous uh, fractures from second to eighth rib. And <clears throat> ICD was put in as the ICD, before ICD, there was left-sided pneumothorax. As we have reduced the pressure on the left side of the chest, ICD insertion, so the there was perforation on the left side of uh, diaphragm. So as the air has been reduced from the left side, the bowel loops goes up. So in this, we can see that there are bowel loops. 
here we have bowel loops on the left side there is mediastinal shift in the x-ray so in this the chest x-ray uh, suggests that there are bowel loops on the left side of chest with mediastinal shift uh, for the same patient we have gone for x-ray pelvis there was no fracture appreciated on the left uh, femur x-ray there was mid shaft displaced fracture femur fracture was there ct head was normal ct abdomen was done further later on after the stabilization of the patient which is suggestive of diaphragmatic tear uh, along with that we have gone for the cervical x ray as well which was normal uh, in view of the chest trauma and the femur fracture we have urgently taken surgery and orthopedic consult after then the patient was shifted to icu and further taken for operative intervention